All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, you glorious bastards and magnificent. It is I, Doc Camus, and we're back for another thought of the day. And today we're going to talk about the the Chauvin trial, because that's now over. Well, I'm not thinking of bail and such, but that's not the end of the I guess bronies are the new white supremacists and Nazis. We're going to go over that. Uh, Russia's flaunting its military, and... Um, a child's birthday has gone to shit, and I got to talk about that because I got to figure out where the people, what what's going on in people's heads because that garbage is garbage. Uh, you know, still fighting the beard life, a little bit about me. Um, doing my thing, getting better, trying to be better, trying to be leveling up every day, being a better man every day, trying to do my thing, trying to help, trying to do something about this, this circus we call life because uh, we all live in the same damn circus. With that being in mind, you know, only you can help us keep going and doing this. So it's like uh, the best way to support – there's a bunch of ways you can support us. You can please like, share, subscribe, do all that jazz on whatever platform that you de- get on. If you're on an audio platform, leaving a review helps, things like that. Share us on platforms we're not on, like Twitter and Facebook. Like do what you need to do to get us out there and help. Go to our website. Become a um, – uh, join the subscriber list. Uh, view everything directly from our website. Become a member. Contribute. Get exclusive content. Buy stuff on the merch tour. Everything helps keep the lights on here and improving everything for you. And as you can see, and that's some point, which is the first podcast we're focusing money into. We got that studio almost finished. And uh, we're, we're going to get a better few. And we're going to keep going, keep improving, keep leveling up. And that's all you can do with life. With that being said, let's get into the Chauvin trial. He's found guilty on all charges, which I think might be a little much. But we'll get into that. Let's get into this article first. Um, so this is uh, this article is from NPR, right? Derek Chauvin found guilty of George Floyd's murder. And there they am, like handcuffing him. Um, the jury has found former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin guilty on all counts he faced over the death of George Floyd. The trial has been one of the most closely watched cases in recent memory, setting off a national reckoning on police violence, systemic racism, even before the trial commenced. Chauvin, 45, has been found guilty on unintentional second-degree murder, third-degree murder, and second-degree manslaughter. Uh, with all his eye, I, like, I, I, just, I don't think he woke up like third degree. I don't think he woke up that morning and was like, I want to kill a man. But he did like keep his head on his neck for too long. Manslaughter. So like at least he's going to prison, but that's a, like a death sentence for him. And I don't like how it was like, it may have capitulated to the riots, terrorism. And like, cause that's not justice and better ten guilty men go free than when innocent. Like it's just, it is what it is with only his eyes visible as the rest of his face was hidden behind a surgical mask. Chauvin watched as the verdict was returned. Judge Peter Kale thanked the jury members for the heavy-duty jury service. Chauvin was reman- remanded into custody as the jury was dismissed, and Cahill said sentencing is expected in eight weeks. So he's going to get a sentence in eight weeks if he even makes it there. Uh, sent- State sentencing guidelines recommend 12.5 years in prison for a conviction on an intentional secondary murder for someone with no criminal history, but prosecutors could have, seek a sentence up to the maximum of 40 years on that count if Cahill determines they were aggravated factors. A deputy handcuffed Chauvin and escorted him to the side room. Fun times, huh? I mean... It's a death sentence either way. Like a, a, a police officer goes to prison. It's a good death sentence. Everybody's going to be gunning for him. Uh, George Floyd's brothers, Phil Onesy Floyd, hugged perse- prosecutor Jerry Blackwell, Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison, and others, according to the pool reports from a journalist in the courtroom, Ellison Blackwood shook hands. <clears throat> I mean, it's hard to deny that the, the this trial might have been tainted by, like, Maxine Vlaude is saying the keep riot, the, the justifying the rioting and all the rioting and, like, and the the state given money before the trial even happened, which is pretty much admitting guilt. And like, it's just that the, this whole trial was a farce. Felonacy Floyd had been, I mean, do belongs in jail, but the whole trial was a farce. And, and the trial being a farce is the much more egregious crime here. Felonious Floyd had been seen praying in the courtroom, asked by a pool reporter afterward what he had been 
praying for. He answered it was just praying that he would find him guilty. As an African-American, we usually never get justice. There was no noticeable reaction from the jury. According to the pool reporter, the jurors each remained still and quiet, staring at the judge until they were called upon to announce their judgment. The jury had been deliberated for about 10 hours over two days following closing arguments. Floyd's death on Memorial Day, damn, that's pretty damn quick. Floyd's death on Memorial Day 2020 sparked protests amid it across the United States and around the world. It promptly calls for police reform and soul searching on issues of racial injustice. Yeah, it did reverberate to other places in the world, which is retarded. Don't burn you down over our problems. Those are our problems that we have to face. And yes, we do have to face them because they are problems. Floyd was a 46-year-old black man from Houston who had moved into Minnesota three years earlier. He was a father and a brother who idolized his mother, loved making music, and had been a star athlete as a man. He was also on drugs. That was established, but that's neither here nor there. Floyd died after Chauvin pressed on his knee on Floyd's neck for nine minutes and 29 seconds as Floyd lay face down, handcuffs behind the back. Trial. This is about the trial. Uh, that was all public. I'm not going to go over most of what's going on. Here's his charges. He got charged, found guilty of unintentional second degree murder and defined as death causing without intent to do so while committing or attempting to commit felony offense. The maximum sentence for second degree murder is 40 years. Third degree murder is causing death to an individual by perpetrating an act of immensely dangerous to others and evidently deprived and evidencing a depraved mind without regard for human life. Yeah, see, that's a little much. But without the intent to cause death, well, without the intent to cause death. Mm, I guess you could kind of argue that, that he wasn't trying to kill him, but he, eight and a half minutes was egregiously ridiculous. So it carries a maximum sentence of 25 years. Secretary Manslaughter is causing the death of another by culpating negligence, creating an unreasonable risk in which the dead negligence. Yeah, so like... As kind of without intent to do that. So no, he might actually be um, these all three charges. They 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 might stick. And these are the jury. We're not going to go behind that. And it's beyond the courtroom. We're not going to go any further into that. You can read the court documents. You can follow along like everyone else has. But that's what's going on. Um, there's got people. Some people are happy about it. Some people aren't going to be happy about it. And there's probably going to be rioting anyway because that's what the last couple of years has been. Because it's not about this. This was just an excuse. I'm just saying.